One Piece chapter 144 was amazing. It was beautiful. Peak fiction. I honestly can't believe Oda wrote this himself. This was just amazing. But before I get ahead of myself, what's up guys? It's your boy G. And if you haven't read with the newest One Piece chapter, why are you here? This is what I'm gonna need you to do. Pause the video, leave a like, go read the newest chapter and come back because this is gonna be major spoiler reviews. So let's get into it. Now, I just read the chapter not too long ago, and this is what I gotta say. That chapter was beautiful for multiple reasons. And it got me it got me questioning a lot of things about the whole One Piece world and like how things are gonna be moving on forward. So these are some of the topics I wrote down and I just wanna talk to them regularly. Now, last warning, if you haven't read One Piece chapter 140, uh, 1044, what are you doing? Go read that, it was too much. So getting into it, one thing that had me going was the world government well, Goro say, talking about how the world government wasn't able to get, obtain the gum gum fruit for 800 years. Now, what does that really mean? Well, I read that in two different ways. I read that as the Goro say themselves, them, you know, the five elders, you know, the, the Gandhi dude, and, you know, all the dudes in the suits, except one, was alive for about 800 years, and he, won't, he wasn't able to obtain this gum gum fruit or throughout 800 years of history of the world government being alive that's a lot of years haven't been able to obtain it and they bring up the statement that is like maybe this fruit is alive and then this is when the biggest bombshell happens the bombshell is that the gum gum fruit isn't the gum gum fruit been revealed in the new chapter that the gum gum fruit isn't a paramecia it is a mythical zone human human fruit god model nika now if you're probably wondering to yourself what have i heard nika before nika is a sun god that's been name dropped since skypea an art that everyone likes to skip so if you have if you skip skypea go watch it now what does this mean in the future well we don't know yet because this they didn't this chapter gave us a little bit but it also gave us a lot so in the one piece world you know mythical zones we then now there's only three three counting human human fruits there's chopper with this human human fruit base form and Son Goku with his human human uh, fruit model Buddha. And now we have Luffy with the God Nika fruit. That's pretty interesting because now there's three. And sometimes I believe Oda likes to do the puns with three. So maybe later on we'll find something out with that. But what does this mean that, you know, you know, for a long time that we all, you know, seen Luffy as a paramecia, he kind of was really broken for being a paramecia. You know, he had the, he had the aspects of, uh, of some Logia, he did some, you know, he did a lot of Logia type moves, you know, uh, being, you know, a rubble and then you have Red Hawk and then some other abilities. Another thing the chapter brings up in the beginning is uh, Zunisha saying that Luffy is Joy Boy, but that was just in the beginning. It wasn't really like stated too fully. What happens is uh, Yamato asks Zunisha, is that really Joy Boy? If that's the case, that means Joy Boy had the god nika mythical zone fruit and right now what luffy is right now we don't it's still kind of up to debate that it's either an awakening gear fifth or joy boy taking over but if joy boy had this fruit in the past i don't think that we're going to talk about it right now i think they're going to talk about it in the next arc so that's something i'm really looking forward to seeing i can't wait to see what's going on with joy boy what's the connection between joy boy and luffy and probably roger because you know all the comparisons between roger and luffy has been since day one but we don't know we don't know maybe roger had the fruit that's been a very popular theory of the one piece fandom another thing i wrote is is it gear fifth or is it an awakening okay in the chapter luffy was attacking kaido the way he was attacking he stated himself okay luffy did state himself in the chapter that that is gear fifth but my problem is that the gear systems that luffy have and a regular awakening is completely different and it's like an awakening and a gear system is this different that's how i always saw it but maybe this is just a combination of the both because when luffy and kaido had the little bra before the chapter ended kaido hit him with a with a borrow blast which is basically a kamehameha and luffy in this state grabbed the ground picked it up and it became rubble so that's already an awakening but luffy always said that this is gear fifth so maybe gear fifth is now just awakening which is really cool because at for the longest for the longest the one piece fandom didn't know what gear fifth was gonna be 
how it's gonna be uh, thrown out and if it's gonna be gear fifth and then if if gear fifth is gonna be uh, entitled to uh, some awakening now that it's been stated that this is the mythical god mythical human human fruit model god the story of Wano has impaled more to the fact that now it's not just the dragon versus the monkey it's the dragon versus the god and what does this actually mean for the, for the rest of the story because you know there's some interactions i want to see now that uh that we kind of know well luffy doesn't know because uh you know that was the girl say talking about it so until luffy finds out he still thinks it's a paramecia fruit but at some point i do want to see luffy and uh chopper having to talk about you know because since they both have human human fruits that would be kind of interesting to watch them talk about like the similar you know like oh i have the human human fruit and i was able to talk and then luffy's just like well i'm able to be a god which is kind of funny in a weird sense all right the last few things i want to talk about before i finish this and this was a this was a quick video one thing i like to point out if this is a zone fruit i would really like to see what was the human side what was the animal side and then what is the hybrid side now I'm not saying which is which. Obviously, the main, the base form is the human form, right? That has to be it. And it's easy enough to say that this form right now that we're seeing is the god form, like the main form, the animal form, the pure animal god human form, whatever we like to call it, in the zone aspect. But as a hybrid, out that's that was something really quick that snapped in my mind. Like, whoa, if he's if he's a mythical zone user then what is the hybrid form? In the zone uh, category, when it's a hybrid, it's way stronger. So I would like to see what the hybrid would be like. Maybe the hybrid was gear four, or one of the gears. Uh, personally, if it is the gear four, that means that's a whole other thing we gotta, like, it's a lot of rewrites. But honestly, can we get a, can we get, thank you Oda in the chats. Can we, can we get that in the comments before I continue on with this vid video you know thank you older for this beautiful chapter another thing that came across my mind when i was reading this chapter and i and i took i was just like a minute or two off done reading the chapel is that luffy is now well technically you know he's god in a sense because god nika sung he's a sun god usually and one piece isn't afraid to talk about mythologies and gods and one thing we could base this off is uh enel which was the, the the rumble not the rumble the lightning fruit i forgot the name i'm sorry the lightning fruit and he basically claimed to be god and in that chapter or in that arc skypea we learned that luffy is a d a natural enemy of god now what i'm asking is will the d in luffy monkey d luffy be a problem with his devil fruit later on down the line because i don't think it probably i say it probably won't because why would it start now but maybe because the fact that no, we all didn't know especially luffy that like inherently he won't be against himself but i could see an internal conflict happening him being a d clan member and being a natural enemy towards god and having to like coexist with himself the fact that luffy is quote unquote a natural enemy against god while having the god nika fruit is kind of crazy i'm not gonna lie this chapter is a little bit too much and you know what i'm glad oda was a genius for taking a break two week break man Oda knew what he was doing. Oda knew what he was doing. Oda hinted Nika in the last SPS. They asked him what was his favorite arcs. He said, what was his favorite parts in some arcs? He said the end of Skypea. And at the end of Skypea, we had the whole bonfire and Luffy was dancing. And you know, we all know like Luffy was, you know, his silhouette looked like God Nika. So this is crazy. This brings out a lot. This chapter brings up so many questions that need that has to be answered at some point and one of the questions that i have is will the will of d of luffy be an issue towards himself how crazy would it be that after this he can't use some of his abilities because of that factor but he has to find out that that's a mythical zone at this point or if we have a scene where he talks to joy boy like uh like for example like naruto and kurama if uh if not if luffy and joy boy have a chat like in a monologue to each other mid fight against kaido and joy boy is just like oh i'm joy boy and, and this is the this is the fruit this is what this is 
And then Luffy's like, oh man, that would be kind of crazy. That would be kind of crazy. I don't know. I didn't, I'm not writing this joint stuff. This, this is all speculation off my head. I just read the chapter literally 15 minutes ago. The last thing I wrote on my notes, because I wrote everything on my notes, is where does Luffy stand at this point with the other heavy hitters? And I'm not talking about the other Shonen, like the other big three, because that might be another video later on. Because, and I know I don't usually do these type of like, you know, videos back to back that much because as we speak, I'm writing another video for a lost anime. But talking about within his universe, what does Luffy stand? Because Luffy was already a heavy hitter, but with this, I think, I think Luffy's able to beat Blackbeard. It's gonna be a high difficulty because we haven't seen what Blackbeard's capable of now because he had two years with both Devil Fruit. The next arc after Wano is gonna be something crazy. It's gonna be basically Luffy learning about Gear Fifth. The mythical zone, human, human fruit, model god Nika, sun god Nika. We might go, we might be going to Reverie to go save Sabo. Hell, we might be going to Elbaf. I made a whole video about Elbaf. Click the link down below just to watch it. I was talking about a lot of points that might happen in Elbaf. That might happen. I don't even know. Luffy versus Big Mom is gonna be crazy. I can already, t I can already tell you right now. Luffy vs. Big Mom is going to be crazy. But that's all speculations, people. What do you guys think? Do you guys think Luffy is just beyond? What's his bounty going to be after this? Honestly, oh my god, that's going to be amazing finding out. Everyone's bounty is going to get boosted up. And I can't wait because there's, there's going to be a chapter this week. No break. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think Luffy's powerful enough to beat Kaido on his own? Obviously he is. And are you excited of this new gear system, of this new gear, gear fifth awakening? And then how do you feel about him being a mythical zone user? Let me know down in the comments below and don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more. It's your boy out. And then uh, watch out for the next video because again, I'm writing for another video. It's gonna be something amazing, I promise you. If you're an OG anime fan, this is gonna hit home. And uh, yeah, peace.